Am I over analyzing an outfit to the pub? Yes. Welcome back, my favorite people. I've wanted to plan out some autumn outfits for ages, so I asked for some outfit scenarios from you on my Instagram story. Thank you so much for sending them in. I also want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Pilgrim. Honestly, a dream come true to be working with them again. Every single piece of jewelry that I'm wearing in this video is from Pilgrim and their new winter collection that just launched this month called Intentions, which is all about setting good intentions and self-reflection. If I had to wear one jewelry brand for the rest of my life, it would easily be Pilgrim. I wear their hoops specifically every single day and they really are the perfect everyday staples and they really have perfected the jewelry version of an elevated basic. Like with the Believe hoops, the perfect hoop for every day. I find all their jewelry to be the perfect weight. I can wear their earrings from day to night and they don't tug on my ears or anything. I've also been loving to layer their Lincoln and Act hoops together in my first and seconds. These are a smaller hoops, they work so well stacked and all the intricate details on them both make them so eye-catching. I also picked up two pairs of more statement earrings for special occasions with the Connect hoops and Zenobia dangle studs and both of these earrings pair so well with the Connect necklace for a great statement set this winter season and the Intentions collection have great everyday necklaces. My favourite is the Act necklace as both come in the set but they are separate so it's a two-in-one and they work great stacked but also on their own. The new collection also has some chunky statement rings. Pilgrim are so good at these and all pieces by Pilgrim are also available in both gold and silver plated. If you want to check out the rest of Pilgrim's new collection Intentions you can head to pilgrim.net to explore. Links to all the pieces that I chose will be in the description. And before we begin, we have to talk about my hair. I just got it done at Studio Studios by Jada. The only person that I actually trust in my hair now, like she kills it every single time. She did my highlights, she did my cut, she did the black tips. I feel like it always takes a day or two for you to get used to a bit of a change. And I posted on Instagram last night and the amount of love that I got in the comments from all of you, like it's crazy. It's also crazy how much validation that gave me because before I really liked it but I was like okay it's gonna take a few days for me to get used to it and the minute that I posted that I was like right I have so much confidence with this new cut so thank you for that I feel like I'm blushing a little bit and as I was planning these outfits for this video I was realizing there was a lot of black outfits it definitely is because of this anyway the first scenario we're gonna do is uni if it was me remembering when I was in uni I wanted to be comfy the whole time especially if I was just gonna be there for the whole day or be in the library nonsense Stop. So to me, this is like the epitome of a really comfy outfit, but there's still little bits of my personality that I feel like elevates it to some extent. I'm wearing my Uggs and these are my favorite things at the moment. If I'm going to be in the library all day, I'm going to want to be cozy in my feet, especially in the winter time. And I added all of these badges on here. I first did it because there was a stain under this one and I just couldn't be bothered to wash it because I wanted to wear it. So I put badges over the stain and then it just made me think that I should just keep badges on this the whole time. So I've added badges on both sides. And then my bag, it matches the brown and the shoes and the trousers. And it's my All Saints bag. This also has badges on it. It's a very badge outfit and I'm not mad at that. Then underneath is my favorite t-shirt combination at the moment, which is just layering these two tank tops. Another uni outfit. And I don't know if it's because I did an art course and I felt like whenever I came in, I wanted to like dress to inspire myself to like do my project, if that makes sense. But this is why I'm like, oh yeah, it's such a uni outfit, but I don't know, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. I've got two skirts laid over one another and my new trainers, they're the Aries Puma ones. And I got these gray socks yesterday and I'm having so much fun wearing as much gray as possible. And I just feel like they look so good with every shoe. I love it. This is a dead stock Adidas one that I found at Portobello recently. <laughs> I don't mind that. I also feel like a trench actually goes with every single outfit. So any type of navy trench maybe, or a black trench to match the shoes. Back with the Uggs, this time with some really baggy jeans. They definitely need a belt, but I do kind of like the rolled over waistband. It's definitely not practical. So let's just imagine there's a belt. This bag is vintage from Nude Lagoon, matches the also vintage trench, which I love. And then my vintage Burberry turtleneck that's from Bible Studios. It's got the little 
cut out on the side. I'm obsessed with it. I really like all of this together. You're so comfy because I'm in a cozy knit, really baggy jeans, like comfy shoes. I could definitely sit in the library all day with this. This one is cozy. This is a new vintage fake fur jacket that's originally from Monsoon. And I love the way that long jackets look with high necks and then brown bag to match all of the brown. I love the different tones of grey that are going on. It's a vintage Gap kind of utility style cardigan. I actually fabric dyed it. I'd probably do this khaki trench. I definitely want to get more trenches in different colours. I wonder if it would look good with a really dark grey trench or a black trench instead. This next one was sent in by Hayley, my online mutual, and I got so excited when I saw it, but I completely misread it when I was planning it. And she said sweaters as skirts, and I read that as shirts as skirts. But I've seen loads of people play around with this, and this picture on Pinterest was inspiring me after I made this outfit, and then I was like, you know what, I'm happy with this outfit, we're just gonna stick with it. So sorry, Hayley, but does this kind of count as shirts or skirts? A little bit. This shirt is from Aries. I really like it because it's a lovely grey pinstripe, and I like wearing it outwards where you can see the collar and you have the buttons going down and I think it works because the skirt has this handkerchief hemline so like the misdirections and the asymmetry really like flows and the belts from Plover Wool. It is navy which does not I guess match to the boots but I still really like it. I love it. I feel like a trench always goes well. This one is huge which sometimes really works and sometimes is a bit too much like the what's it called the pocket is all the like I barely even reach the pocket. Then I just just got sent this most insane bag from a small brand based in Australia and it's this navy suede grommet hole little mini bag and I put on my key rings on there. Can we just ignore the really bad job that I've just turned at tying my hair back? I have like no hair to tie back so yeah. The next scenario is going out out, clubbing, concerts, bars with friends, that type of thing. I did get one request for a fancy dinner party and I don't know if this is like perfect for that but I would probably wear this to a fancy dinner party definitely to like a fancy event really like the all black look love the sheerer tight i think these are a 15 denier is that what you call it denier the shorts are from knee high they're black pinstripe and they kind of go out to the side and then the top is old all saints i found from vintage and then my bag is my also secondhand all saints big bag that i wear all the time but it's folded over as a clutch i really like the way this looks i like how big it is i like how it's got the huge strap like still on show then I would definitely wear my black wool coat with this I love the oversized shape that it gives especially with like just the little kitten heels poking out and it's like all done up and like sort of similar to the last one but way more comfy these boots are just so comfy to walk in and I feel like paired with everything else it looks kind of smart same tights same shorts and then this pea coat and I'm loving the silhouette the crop sleeves the way that it looks with everything I just love it and then my clutch bag is vintage from Cara Croa. I also love this outfit so much. Like everybody, I'm loving grey and I've been seeing people wear grey tights and I went into Uniqlo and they had these and they're the heat tech ones. So they're gonna be so good for winter to wear out and about because they're actually gonna keep you warm. Love the pop with the grey and then this adorable little 60s style peacoat swing dress situation that's going on with all of the buttons and it's even got pockets. Are you joking me? I literally love this dress so much. And then I probably would just do my wool coat with this. Now onto the part of going out out that's a bit more clubby. Like this is such a clubbing girls night out outfit to me. And I love the mixes of the black and the blues. Without a doubt, these pieces never fail. And it's the Peachy Den Kylie stuff. It's the top and it's the score. They now do it in, I think, they have the jumpsuit, they have the dress. I think they do it like a maxi skirt. Like that whole Cupro collection of theirs always hits. And I've been really inspired by this girl called Sadie on TikTok. I'm obsessed with her TikTok. I saved a lot of her outfits for inspiration for this video and she often wears her Kylie sets and like her skirt with her tool belt and it just looks so good. So I wanted to shout Sadie out. Anyway, my tool belt is my favourite thing to wear clubbing. You don't need an annoying bag on your shoulder when you want to be like hands up dancing and you don't want to like lose it, drop it anywhere. It's on you the whole time and when you go clubbing you only need a few things anyway so like this is not going to be heavy but it's going to fit everything you need also it definitely can fit like long sleeve t-shirts so if it's warm enough to go out or you're drunk enough at pre's and the only thing you want to throw on over this is like a long 
sleeve just to get you onto the bus or get you in the Uber, it's gonna fit in your tool belt. So no cloakroom, no problem. But if I was gonna wear a jacket, I like this. I really like this. It's the Peachy Den zip up in navy. So I feel like the colors, colors go well. It's so cozy and warm. It's got a hood. So if it starts raining, you're all good. So far, I think we've had so many good autumn color palettes. This is not very autumn. This is an outfit I definitely will be wearing more in the summer and the springtime, but I wanted to show it anyway. And it was inspired by Sadie. I feel like I'm not finished with what I'm gonna do with the outfit, but for now I wanted to show it because I think this is a good like simpler version of it. It's these two crochet like matching pieces. They're obviously different crochet, but I think they look very much like a two piece. The top is made by Melissa Tida and it's just come out and she sent it to me. I think it's made from dead stock fabric. I'm pretty sure. And it's amazing. And I saw her wearing it in person at We Out Here Festival and I was like, girl, these tops are so good. And I'm wearing this little white vest under from E A Z. They just sent me and I'm obsessed with this sculpting top. It's literally like a tank air dupe. Vintage a spirit belt matches like the buckle boots. And I love this, but inspired by Sadie, I'm gonna make it like a handkerchief vibe. Then I got all of this extra fabric at Peck and Car Boot. When I did it yesterday, I feel like I did it so much better. Like right now, it's not flowing. It's meant to be like, constant drags i don't know but you can see the vibe i really like this i think it's really fun for clubbing in winter you also are incredibly warm because i have so many layers of fabric here this jacket has buckles on the collar which go with all of the other buckles and it's nice and cropped so it shows off the skirt like this is cute i love this this is probably less clubbing and more out out again but i definitely would just wear trainers instead of the heels and wear this to a club and ditch the clutch and like yeah, I feel like it can be very casual, but also dressy. The suit trousers are from Peachy Den. With the Sousa Musa dress, I love this dress. It's got the cutouts on the sleeves. It's so comfy and it really works for so many occasions. And it's very, very mini. So I feel like it works best over trousers. And then I've got my buckle belt, black kitten heels again. Yes, I've got my white socks on. I can't be able to take them off. I really am loving black at the moment. I feel like the hair is definitely influencing it. I love the way the hair looks with the outfit. This dress is from Eureka. I love her. She's one of my favorite designers. Her upcoming collection looks insane and I'm just so honored to have this piece that she sent to me. You can make it into a bit of a bubble mini dress because it's got elastic, um, not elastic, like drawstring at the bottom. And then I put my belt to help like make it stay in a bit more like a bubble. And I really like this. I think it's really fun. I got a lot of requests to do it's cold in the morning and then it's hot by midday. This is like the base of the outfit. And it's also an outfit that I've been wearing so much recently. It's one of my favorite outfits. Outfits, one of my go-to outfits. My boots are vintage G-Star. They're like a really nice darker gray and they're kind of a little bit slouchy. And then the gray long pleated skirt, Paloma wool, navy belt, and then Paloma wool gray top. I'm obsessed with this top, the Paloma wool bag. <laughs> Clearly, I like Paloma wool. Then I've been layering it with this Peachy Den hoodie. It's so thick and warm, and it's got the huge waistband, which just sucks it in and like makes you even more warm. Like, it, I just can't explain it. It's just so warming. And then my huge trench. And the colors of the two um, pieces like blend so well that when it's hotter and I don't want to be like wearing a hoodie, it really hides itself well, like under the trench. And I really like the way this looks. And then this is another version of of that. I feel like it's just all about the layering, isn't it? Underneath I've just got like a thicker baby tee and then this thin but still insulating knit jumper. Just want something that is really good quality and like breathable as well. And on like the hotter autumn days I could definitely just go out in this. But then there's also my trench and I feel like a good thing about a trench like this is that it can definitely fold down into this bag or you can just put it on the strap if needs be and like that's good to go. This trench also has a lining, which is really nice and definitely obviously keeps you insulated. This scenario is out with the girls, stay with the girls, getting coffee, shopping, whatnot. And I really love what's going on here. The skirt is pullover wool and I've got on these two layered belts, G-Star tool belt. This means that you don't need a bag. So it's really nice to be hands-free, especially if you are shopping. It is nice to have a tool belt, I think. And then my intermissimi long sleeve. And then I've got the same. Adi 
Adidas zip up, which I feel like goes nice because it matches the skirt a little bit. It's cute. I like it. I think this is really, really fun. I feel like I've said this with every outfit, but I love this outfit. I think it's really fun. I'm a sucker for a bit of khaki, you know? And I have this incredible pleated khaki skirt that's vintage, but it's too small for me. So I always really struggle to like pin it in place, but I found like a new system and it's worked. And this tool belt covers that quite nicely. Because it's a bit too small, I definitely need something underneath. It's got these pleats as well that open Open. So I'm wearing this black pleated vintage skirt underneath and that matches like the black with the shoes and this top I don't know if this is a bit rogue. I definitely don't think it like we could do without this But it's originally gray and I accidentally fabric dyed it in the wash with something that was green and it made it this really Interesting green color, but I like the fit of it with this skirt And if I was gonna be cold I would just bring my khaki trench or I'd wear like a thermal underneath and I feel like daytime and autumn You're probably fine. I love the way that these all look together. I feel like I wear this combination a lot and you can do it in some different ways the dress is from knee high it does have like an open back with a bow i have not been bothered to do it up because we have so many outfits to get through i can't be bothered but then also layering it to make it a little bit more casual i would probably wear the pea coat again it's just a fun silhouette with everything i really like the proportions i got so many requests for rain walks rainy days general walks pumpkin patch picking like all of the typical autumn vibes and this is a very rain mindful outfit i feel but it's also a little bit fun i feel got on the hunter welly boots these are nice because they're the shorter version feel like they're a very good like city welly boot the skirt is a peachy dandiba but the reason i say to wear this in the rain is because of the fabric like the fabric is feels like it brushes off rain like it just i just feel like it's a good one for that and you obviously have an umbrella as well so you'd probably be fine and then this is my eleanor butler jones bag this bag is amazing because it stretches to a huge amount out. like you can fit so much in here and it sticks really nicely to your body like it doesn't protrude like other bags do that if you have your umbrella and you're in there like it's not going to get wet because it's on you and I love the colors obviously it matches really nice with this and I feel like it's just it's cute I like this outfit a lot for this outfit I am wearing shorts but when you're on these rainy muddy walks like I don't always want my trousers getting muddy so sometimes wearing shorts is kind of practical and these are just um, vintage adidas ones and my hunters are so long they're also the bow morals so they're a bit more of like a boot so they're a lot comfier wearing them the whole day because they're more of a boot they're very like city appropriate as well did also get some requests to do a pub outfit i feel like it's fun to sometimes dress up a little bit for the pub and i feel like this is a good in between of not too dressy i've got my uggs to keep me nice and cozy vintage puma zip up which is brown to match the bag and the boots which is nice and i got the badges on the bag the last time that i wore this outfit i did actually wear it with my like red flats more of a mary jane type of shoe um, but I like it with the red trainers as well I feel like that keeps it a bit more casual I've got on my vintage trackies they're from Vivian's vintage and then this old Vivian Westwood top that I found from Vinted it's got gathering kind of like a cow neck really interesting and then it's got the embroidery and the red there goes with the shoe which is nice and you're very comfy but I feel like it looks a little bit more elevated than it is because of the top this is another outfit I've had on repeat at the moment and I actually wore it out to the pub the other day as well same red shoes peachy den pinstripes this is a old gap long top that i found from vinted it's got buttons down the sleeves and it's kind of this interesting like baggy t-shirt knit i really like this because it cuts really nicely with the rest of it and i like that you can see the panel from the top because it kind of alludes to like oh she's wearing like a mini dress or like there's something going on under there i kind of like that because if i'm sitting outside in the smokers all night i feel like it still adds something with Without anyone needing to like see the top underneath. Am I over analyzing an outfit to the pub? Yes. The next scenario is a date and I feel like I've done this in all my previous outfit scenarios videos and everyone always asks for dates and I always show like the two sides. I feel like I used to always just want to go like this like baggy jeans really chill but then recently I've more been wanting to like really dress up and have fun with my feminine side and all these really like flattering pieces. So I'm going to show you the two different versions. We've got the same red shoes. Clearly these are a winner and then my new Levi's. I love these. They I think they're the carpenter crop 
and they're really nice and sleek. I feel like they look kind of elevated. And then this vintage leather jacket from Nude Lagoon. Recently I've been like, should I sell this? Like I'm not sure I actually wear it that much. I feel like it washes me out sometimes because it's such a bright white, but the red stripes always like keep me saving it. I really like it. And obviously the red matches was that. Typical me, I would probably wear a beanie, especially for a first day going to the pub in the autumn, like always gonna be a little beanie. Could just match with the red theme and do a little scarf. Oh yeah, I think I prefer that. Cute. I love this skirt so much. It's from Knee High and it's got loads of pockets. Someone said to me that it kind of looks like a tool belt and I feel like they're so right. It absolutely does. And I was gonna put this outfit in the night out category because by wearing this, to the club you don't need a belt like you have all the pockets that you need for your stuff so again your hands free it's so good same black boots i always wear my intimacy me cashmere long sleeve to keep me nice and warm but i am wearing like a nice bra underneath that is like purposefully on show i love the way that this jacket looks with the skirt i think it's so fun this is definitely more clubbing to me though than like going on a date especially like a first date another date night look on the more casual side i've got my black salamon so i always wear my Aries jeans these are too big for me but I have like a string that it came with but I can't find it so for now we're rolling over the waistband again but I do really like the way that it looks I think it's kind of fun or I'd add like a fun belt and then my tank air knitted top which I love and I would probably just wear my trench with this yeah I think that's cute. Back again with the Peachy Den Kylie two-piece. I just got the matching skirt in the blue and I'm so happy. I just love it. And I actually wore this but in the black version on my first date with my boyfriend. And clearly that was a success and I generally cannot rave about wearing them on a date, especially like a first date, just so good. I probably would go all navy and maybe add this belt as well. I definitely could add my tool belt depending on like where we were going, but I think this is really fun, the Paloma Bell. and i'm just a sucker for this trench like i just think it looks good with everything and then back with the navy bag for an all blue look i know i'm wearing black shoes i don't really care i love this outfit the next scenario is art gallery i thought that was really sweet i really like this outfit again it's annoying so i'm like oh this would work for blah, 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 blah. like they literally all work for everywhere like i would literally wear this outfit anywhere and everywhere but i thought it was cute for a gallery we've got on my spotty pumps i found these from depop from not just another vintage shop i feel like they go really nicely with the black and white top which is from realization part and i cut the neck and i cut the bottom and i love like the boxy fit of this the black bra strap and my tool belt i like this because it blends really easily with it the colors are very very similar even down to the contrast stitching. I would definitely put it actually in the belt loops, but I have not got time for that right now. So she's just resting here, but I think it's really fun. And again, you don't need a bag. You can like be free, hands-free. Don't even ask me to put a jacket with it because I will just pick up my trench again. I'm loving my hair, right? But I really wish I could do something else with it. Like I'd love to put it up in a clip or bunches or something, but I feel like it's too short at the moment. So Anyway, this is another option for the art gallery. I feel like this is giving more mature, I don't know. The other one was giving casual. This is giving way more put together. I really like because of the military style jacket with the military style boots. That is really nice. And the Peachy Den skirt. This jacket is old Topshop that I found from Vinted. I love the asymmetric detail. I think it'd be fun to undo the buttons halfway and have like a different color top or something. Like really play with some layering would be nice. I think a belt would look good as well. But I feel like I like it just like this. The next scenario is running to the shop errand, throwing it on outfit. You want to be comfy. I've got my Peachy Den tracksuit two piece and then my green camper flats. I love wearing these with these trackies and just like like wearing whatever on top and I think they look so nice together and then I would just wear this trench yet again and I have got my green bag which matches quite nicely with the green shoes and this is like the perfect tote bag for running errands woo a final errand running outfit wanted to basically just have an excuse to wear this because this is the epitome of my running errands zip ups from knee high it's so cozy and like chunky and big definitely means it can be a jacket worn with the right thing underneath if i needed a coat though are we even surprised i would obviously wear this um, it looks good with this, but this is definitely jacket worthy anyway. The final scenario we're gonna end on is a cozy night in with the girls. I really like this um, question. And I've gone for some shorts again. I feel like when you get there and you're all watching a film or whatever, there's blankets, you're all cozy. Like I feel like some shorts is 
exactly what you need. I don't want to be too hot. And then I want my Uggs, which just feel like the perfect cozy vibe. And then the same zip up, my favorite ever. Obviously my trench, but yeah, this zip up is just so cozy. Like this to me, it's just perfect. So we did it. We got through so many scenarios. My room is ridiculous. I will show you what it looks like. Can you believe it? I'm gonna have to clear all of this up now, but I want to thank Pilgrim again for sponsoring. All their links will be in the description and I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe down below and follow me on my social media. Mm -hmm.